Okay, guys, so for this project, we are going to use Envato Elements. And the reason is because they offer you a free seven day trial. So what does that mean? Well, basically, if you click on this, as you can see, for a whole week, for seven days, you have access to unlimited downloads. So you can download whatever you want off the website completely for free for a whole week. And as you can see here, you can cancel anytime. So I don't, I'm not going to tell you what to do. Uh, I'll let you draw all the conclusion you want out of this. But that's basically the offer. So just click on it enjoy it and download whatever resources you want okay so let me show you now so i'm going to look for movers and packers and make sure to set wordpress here and let's have a quick search okay so as you can see a few different options here so this one is for movers and packers movers and packers so we have two different options here and those two here are more for logistics so that's maybe not uh, what we need although you can use them it's fine as well but I've looked them all, so I think this one is the most suitable one. So let's click on this. Let me show you quickly because it looks absolutely fantastic. It's almost ready to go. All you have to do is just change the text, maybe your logo, a few different items here and there, and that's basically it. But it looks very professional uh, from the get-go, and there's very little changes that you have to do to have it ready. And as you can see here, all you have to do to enjoy the seven-day free trial is to click on this button here. Click on this one again and fill out your details and that's basically it so maybe something like this you know just put in your details so first name last name email address and a username enter the password make sure you take i'm not a robot and click continue and on the next screen here just make sure you enter all your details once more you can select the payment method here so credit card or paypal and then select any of those uh, billing cycles here as you can see you won't be charged until your free trial ends so don't forget to cancel within seven days if you wanted to if you want to carry on with this uh, fair enough uh, all the better you know and then simply click complete order and that's basically it now for those of you who don't want to use the subscription here based on the free trial you can also get it uh, for a small cost of 24 us dollars this is the one here from the envato marketplace as well so i'll leave both links in the description below uh, it's up to you to choose which one you want to to go with uh, either way is fine you can get the free option if it's available at the time of you watching this video or if it's not available anymore because i know there's a time limit on these sometimes or you can decide to buy it all together or you can make use of the free seven day trial this is really up to you uh, either way is fine and once you have the elementor template kit i'll meet you guys in the wordpress dashboard so welcome to our wordpress dashboard so this is a fresh new installation uh, you don't need to have a fresh new installation but i would highly recommend you do so the only thing we need the only plugin we need basically for this project is elementor so let's add this together so we're going to add elementor here very good so click install now then activate there you go now we can skip all this all together skip 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 there you go and then back to our wordpress dashboard and now we can install our templates and for this we're going to click on this hamburger menu here exit to dashboard and back to dashboard again and now we can import our template so how can we do so we need to install an additional plugin so the plugin is called template kit import this is by envato themselves okay so let me show you how we can install this as well so we're going to plugins add new and this time in the search plugins just type in template kit import and again i'll leave a link in the description below anyways you know so install now activate and now that it is installed we can go to tools and then template kit very good and as you can see here you can upload the zip file all together and it's going to do all the work for us so let's click on this select the file that you downloaded click open and there you go as you can see all the different pages are right here and are readily available for us to import okay so as you can see we get a warning sign here that says uh, the there are six requirements that need installing for this template kit to work properly so that's the first thing we need to do okay so install requirements and do agree with this so click uh, next okay very good and now close very good and now what we need to do is to import the global kit style so let's start with this so let's click on that there you go so that's done and now we can import any pages any section of the website that we want so you might need only just a few pages so let's say you only want the home page about us 
and maybe contact page do so home page as you can see about us and contact page but you can also import services services details as you can see of pricing as well team so this is really up to you how you want to build your website uh, please choose and select whichever sections you want now for this tutorial we're just going to import everything one by one so all you have to do is just to click on import template just like this so it's going to take a few moments to import that page and then you can do the same with all the others okay and once you've done so we can get uh, started with the customization of our pages and now that we've imported our pages let me show you where they are so if you go to templates saved templates and you can make sure they're all here basically you know so double check everything as you can see of the home we have team and you can see here this is the title so this is home and what type is it this is a section this is team this is a page this is service detail this is a page as well if you scroll down the page here at the bottom we'll have you'll find the footer as well and the header and these are two different sections as well now obviously you can use any wordpress theme to build your website here but i would highly recommend that you use elementor's own uh, theme which is called hello so for this we go to appearance themes add new so normally it should show up here immediately if it doesn't you can always search for it just type hello elementor and there it is okay so I'll click install and then activate it very good so now we have this one installed which is the main uh, elementor theme which will make life much easier for us to build our website now let's go back to our saved templates so these are all our pages as we've created them and imported them now, how can you use these to build your website? Well, normally you would go to the theme builder here, but as you can see here, there's a padlock because this is part of the pro version. So you would normally have to pay for this. So I'm going to show you how you can do this without having to use Elementor Pro. So without any extra expenses. Okay. So this involves a little workaround solution, but we'll get it done nonetheless. Okay. So let me show you how we can do this. So let's say we want to build our home page first because this is the first page that people will visit. Uh, people will come and visit, obviously, you know. So let's go to pages. And from here, let's click on add new. Let's give it a title. So let's call this home. So I'll click publish, publish. And let's go ahead, edit with Elementor. And there you go. So by default, Elementor is going to pull out the menu section that comes with your theme. So we're not going to need this. We're going to get rid of this altogether. So we, what we need is a blank canvas altogether. So for this, we're going to go to, uh, to settings here and then select Elementor canvas. And just like that, as you can see, there is no uh, nothing on the page. It's a blank canvas altogether. And then now we can be, be creative. Basically, we can create whatever we want. So let's uh, have a quick look now. So as you can see, a few different buttons here. So normally you would create your different sections and insert uh, your widgets here. And this is how you create your page normally. But you can see next to it, we have an extra three buttons. So normally you could import this using Elementor Pro. You have my templates. You could import them right here like this. This is one way of doing it. You could do that, no problem. But we also have those two here. But the one we're interested in today is this one here, the Elementor Kit. So the one here uh, will allow you to import your pages, the one we imported earlier on, directly into your page here. So if you click on this, as you can see, these are all our pages. So we have the home page. If we scroll down, we'll have our footer section and we'll find our header as well, which is our menu section. OK, so what we're going to do first is to insert the menu section on top. So let's start with this. So insert template. Very good. And then next, we're going to insert the content of our home page, which is here. Insert. Very good. And then finally, we are going to insert the footer section then. OK, so scroll down straight to the bottom of the page here and let's insert our footer section so let's click on this again view install kit and where is it right here so insert template and there you go guys so we have the full page uh, imported now very good and as always don't forget to click update to save the page and now we can have a quick preview as well so let's click on this preview changes Okay, so that's basically what our website looks like at the moment. So as you can see our logo, our call to action button, our hero section. And if we scroll down, something weird is happening here, but that's okay, we can fix that. And if we keep scrolling down the page, as you can see, everything else seems to be okay. So let's just address what should be there 
in this section here because this is not how it's supposed to be. I think it's a contact form that should be here. So let's take care of this first, okay? So let's go back to our Elementor page and now we can scroll back up right on top of the page and locate this section here. So this is the one here. So this is the one that's causing trouble at the moment. So we just click on it. And as you can see, like uh, we guessed it, this is the met form. So there should be a form here normally, which is not displaying at the moment. So let's take care of this first. So for this, you can basically click on this button here, click here, and this will bring you to a new page. So I just opened it already here in a different tab. So basically it will bring you straight up to the settings here. So what we need to do now is to click next, enter your email address. I'm just put hello at mrwebreviews.com and then next. And then right here, you need to select one of those options. Now it's not mandatory, it's really up to you. As you can see, Element Kits is already installed. You can install any others if you want to, but you can click next if you don't want to install any of them. Same story here, just trying to upset you basically, you know, so click next and then save changes. That's it, done. Very good. So now we can take care of our form. So now we go back to the form section here, click on forms. There it is. So as you can see, there is no form. So that's why it's not displaying. So now we need to create our form. So let's go ahead with this. So add new and now we can set up our form. So we have the general settings here, so we can put a title here. So I'm just going to put home uh, request a quote, something like that. Okay. And then scroll down the page. So this is your success message. Once it's been submitted, thank you. Uh, you your form was sub uh, submitted successfully and so on and so on. So these are pretty self-explanatory, you know, uh, play around with this. Then you have the confirmation email. Would you like to send a confirmation email? Yes or no. And a notification email to the admin. So this is yourself, you know. So if you wanted to receive a confirmation email, you can set this up here. Where do you want to send it? So let's say hello at mrwebreviews.com. I suppose you want to receive that, you know, and their request uh, for quote. There you go. And that's basically it, okay? So now you can save your changes and now we can edit the content. Okay, so let's edit the content now. So click uh, on this, edit content. And now it's gonna open a new page, an Elementor page. And, with, and on this page, we can create our form. So as you can see, all the widgets from Metform are right there here on top, very handy for us to insert. So we can create our section. So let's create a one column section. There it is. And now we can insert all the Metform elements that we want. So it's a request for quote. So what you want, it's a moving company, some uh, movers and packers. So you need probably a name. So this would be text. So let's call this one name and here name. And now let's go back here. Now we need maybe an email address. So let's put the email right underneath. There you go. So this is basically self-explanatory. This is email. And we maybe need a collection and drop off location. So this is text. So we're going to add text two text uh, sections. So uh, pick up location. And we're going to do the same with the drop off location. OK, so we're going to add a text again. There you go. So basically from and to, you know, and then drop off location. I don't know if these are the right terms, by the way, for moving companies, but anyways, let's call it like this. And then we'll have as well a request for quote or details maybe. So this would be a text area just underneath and then uh, details. Let's call it like this. Okay. Control C, Control V. Perfect. So this is our form done now. So let's click update. And now if you go back to our WordPress dashboard, it should normally appear in our form section. There it is. So as you can see, a request a quote is right here. Okay. And now that we created our form, we can insert it on our page. So let's go back to Elementor and let's click on edit form. Now we can select our form that we just created. Now it might seem a bit confusing. It says edit form, but if you can see it says select form or new. So select form and then edit form. I know it's a bit confusing, but that's the way you can insert it on your page. Doesn't make much sense, but anyways. So now I click update and close. And there you go. As you can see, the form is now displaying on our page. So let's click update just to make sure we save all our changes. And let's have a quick preview once more, just to make sure everything is okay uh, this far. So if we scroll down the page, very good. So our form is here. This is what we wanted. Now, the only issue we're having is that it's a clear background here, as you can see, and we forgot to insert the uh, submit button as well. So let's take care of this now. So let's edit the form first. Let's click on this. 
and then uh, scroll down the page edit content I would just assume it would be added automatically but that's not the case we have to do it manually and then now we can insert the submit button which is right here so just at the bottom here there you go and that's it basically now we can update and it should reflect back in the front end anyways so let's go back to this section here now let's add a white background all around it so we go to advanced and we're going to add a little bit of padding maybe 25 pixels just like that that's perfect and then we're going to add a background color so let's enable this now we can select a color so let's select a default color one of the theme maybe the yellow one would stand out perfect this is brilliant there you go so let's click update now and let's have a quick preview so normally it should refresh the page automatically there you go and as you can see now that looks absolutely fantastic doesn't it great so now let's take care of the header section so our menu section here so as you can see this is a bit out of work it's not uh, displaying properly so let's go ahead with this so let's change our logo our details uh, the call to action button and so on and so on Okay, so let's go back to our Elementor page. Let's scroll back up here. So let's start by changing our details here. So all you have to do is basically click on this. And as you can see, this is an icon list. So you can change the icon itself. So you might want to add something else. Maybe uh, maybe you want to add a mobile phone as well or something like that. How can you do this? Well, basically duplicate this. Click on that. Put a mobile phone here, whatever it is, and you can change the icon. So let's look for a mobile. I'm going to put phone here. And let's a uh, smartphone just this one here okay this is fine and it start there you go and now as you can see we have landline mobile phone and also the email address and to change the email address all you have to do is just basically change this here uh, type your own email address and it will uh, show up here in the front end very good so then we have our social media icons so this principle this is the same principle here with those ones so these are social icons and you can add as many as you want your facebook twitter youtube instagram now maybe you don't you want to add linkedin as well let's say okay so add item you can type in linkedin very good and you can type the, the link the address basically to your uh, landing page or linkedin landing page to your profile and then you can change the icon here so on the icon here let's look for linkedin there you go let's select this one here insert and there you go guys as you can see now you have five different social media platforms that you can link back to your uh, accounts basically okay so again don't forget to add the link here for each one of them and if you click on that uh, small gear here it will open up an additional features and uh, it's probably better to Take this one as well open in a new window because when people are on your website you don't want them to leave so you open that in a different tab okay so this is a uh, best practice uh, for what it is to to bring people to your social media platforms now we have our logo here so let's click on this so this is basically an image so you can upload your own logo right here and for this all you have to do is click on the image itself and then you can upload your own logo so let's select a file so let's se select uh, mr web reviews here just to show you how this works, insert. So this is how easily you can upload your own logo. Now you might want to make it a little bigger, then you can change the size here, you see? No, you don't want it to be too big either, uh, not too overpowering. So maybe a happy medium just like that, okay? Now we have this section here. So let's click on that. This is a menu section. So this widget is called JKit Nav Menu. And as you can see, it's stacking up on top of each other. So that is great. And the reason is because it's not full width, as you can see, okay? So let's try this, we go to advanced and change the width to full width and again it is not displaying properly and i think i know why so let's go to content and there you go there is no actual menu being created here so we need to create our own menu first so for this we go back to the wordpress dashboard we go to appearance menus and just like we said you know there is no menu here so we need to create one so let's call this one main menu or main menu let's create the menu now and now we can add our items so let's just add three random pages just for now just to see how this goes let's click save menu very good and now if you go back here now let's click update and let's refresh and normally all going well it should display properly now okay very good so as you can see now they're touching each other so it's a bit too close uh, so we need to add a little bit of a gap in between so we go to advanced again so layout so we have our style here and from here we're going to go to menu item style and we're going to get uh, add a bit of 
spacing here. So unlink this and to the left hand side here, we're going to add maybe 30. There you go. That's a lot better like this. That's all we need to do basically. So now we have our menu section in place. We will change this later on uh, during this tutorial. We add the pages that we want afterwards. Okay. So now let's take care of our call to action. Again, this will link back to a page. So unless with that cre page created, we cannot link it for now. So we just leave it as is for now. So our header section is taken care of now. So let's customize the rest of our page now. So I'm just going to show you the main essentials, all the basics, you know, and you can tweak things around based on your own preferences. So basically, as you can see, if you hover on top here, we have a section. So if I click on this, so this is a section. If I click on that, this is another section and so on. And every section, it's made out of columns. As you can see, we have one column here, another one there. And every column normally has a few widgets in it, you know. So this one has, as you can see, this is a heading. This one is called animated text. This one should be text. And this one is most likely a button. There you go, as you can see, okay? So basically, if you wanted to edit any of those sections, all you have to do is to click on top. And now you can change the content. As you can see here with the rotating text, so this is the text before, so we make moving. And then after this, you have the rotating text. So as you can see, we'll display and then hide again and then show the next one. Fast and easy, cheap and safe. So again, you can work things out based on your own taglines, company motto or whatever, you know, uh, whatever you want to put there, feel free to change this based on your own requirements. Now, obviously, all of these sections here, they're all on top of each other, but you can move them around as well. So it's not easy to move them around from here. So in this case, if you wanted to move them around, all you have to do is to click on this here. You have the navigator. And as you can see, you have all these different sections. So let me close this. Let me close all of them. There you go. These are all our different sections. So if you click on this, as you can see, it will bring us to the section. As you can see, this is the next section. This is another section and so on. So if you wanted to move them around, you can do this easily from here. It's much easier than move them from the page itself. Now, maybe some of those sections you don't need if you wanted to delete them very easily. As you can see, this one is the latest news. Maybe you don't uh, plan to have a blog or news all together. And what you can do here is just delete it. Okay, so for this, just click on the X sign. And boom, just like that, it is gone now, all together. Now, if you wanted to bring it back, you can do the same here. You go to history and click to the next, to previous one. And there you go. As you can see, the section is now back. Okay. So let me click on it again. And there you go. So this is the blog section. So again, whether you need it or not, you can leave it or remove it all together. So I'm just going to delete it for now. Just like that. It looks fine, you know. Now let's go back to the top of our page. Let's click on this one. So let's say if you wanted to change the content here again, just click on the title, change the title here for the text is the same here, put in your own title and here you have a few boxes as you can see if you click on them, these are called icon box and again you can tweak everything around. If you wanted to change the color as well, you can do so, all you have to do is go into style and all the styling features uh, will be here. So as you can see, this one is to change the color. So if you want in a different color, you can do so here. And then for, for the content itself as well, you can change the font. You can change the font color when you click on it, when you hover on top. So all these can, are easily configurable here. I'll let you play around with this. It's pretty self-explanatory, okay? So this is basically how you can change this. Now, as you can see with all these different sections, they look fantastic. I wouldn't change a single thing myself. I would just tweak the content to fit your own company, your own business and leave it as is because it looks very, very professional, doesn't it? Now, if you really wanted to add a new section or add something to it, you can do so, of course. All you have to do is click on the plus sign here. And as you can see, click on the plus and then you can create any section you want. Or maybe you want double column like this and then you can insert any widget that you want. So if you wanted to add a heading here, just insert the heading. If you wanted to add an image on the other side, just insert the image and so on and so on. So this is basically how you can work things out and tweak your page and customize it. Okay. So let me just delete this one for now. So let's take care of our footer section now. And again, for the footer section, it's just a matter of editing the content. So it's the same principle again, you know. So we, let's close this. So the footer section is all this here, all those two uh, different sections here. This is the whole footer. So we can change things around as well, you know. If you wanted to change that image here, for instance, as you can see, all you have to do is click on it and select another one. 
Bear in mind that this is a clear image, obviously. So once you upload your image, make sure it has a clear background because this one is sticking out a little bit, you know, and make sure that you cut it and have it right to size. Now you can change your phone number again. It's the same principle. Just click on it and change the details here. Just type your own details, okay? Now here at the bottom, we have the logo here. So we can click on this. We can upload our own. So we had Mr. Web Review. So we can insert this. As you can see, there is no contrast here. So make sure to upload two different logos, one for a clear background and one for a dark background. So let's do this together now. So if I click on this, upload file. So I have another one. You see, this one is black and this one is white font. And obviously it will stand out on a clear background. Okay, now we insert media. And there you go. That looks great, doesn't it? Again, you can change the text here. Click on it, change the content. Our social media icons is the same principle as the one uh, we did in the header for, uh, section. So basically you have all your different social media uh, icons here. Click on it. You can change the logo here, uh, the icon itself. And then you can send them to a specific social media platform. So select them here and you can set that up in the back end as well. So here we have all the different links. As you can see, if you click on them again, this is the same printing principle. This is icon list. So you can add as many as you want. Obviously, you need more pages inside your website. At the moment, they are none. But once you have them here up and running, you can update this very easily and link them back to uh, those pages. As you can see, you can click on them and you put the link right here. Okay. So now we have the contact details. This is the last sections we can take care of. And again, icon list, click on it just change the icon if you wanted to so this is for the address this is for the phone uh, if you wanted to add a mobile phone like we did earlier on you can add this using a mobile phone and then add the number here as well so this is basically how you can edit those sections okay very good so now we have our home page done set up completely now we can reuse some of those elements to create our second page so the header section and the footer section we have to reuse them on our new pages okay so let's go ahead with this so let's say if we were to create a new page now let's create a new one let's say about us so let's publish and let's there you go okay now edit with elementor and now we can start importing those content from the other page so we go back here and we're going to right click on top so basically right click on the section copy go back to your page and then paste and we do the same with the bottom half so copy there you go and then paste simple isn't it so there you go. Now we have our header section. So this is what we wanted to have. And now we can insert the content of our page. Okay. So we're going to click on this view kit. And this time is the about us section. So insert template. So there you go. And now we can scroll down the page. And as you can see, we don't have any footer section. And now we're going to copy this from the other page. So right click on this. Oops. No, it's not the one. Okay. Start again. So right click on this copy and then paste. And do the same with the other section here so right click copy scroll down paste and then we have the last section here which is this one copy and then again paste there you go guys so this is how easily you can create a page basically now you can uh, tweak again your content inside this uh, to fit your own requirements so now we have an about us section update and then we can do the exact same now again with the contact page. So let's exit here back to the WordPress dashboard and create a new page. And this one, I'm going to call it contact. Publish, publish, edit with Elementor. And then we're going to apply the exact same principle. And there you go, guys. Now we have the contact page done as well. So this is another one with the contact form here. So if you click on this section here, as you can see, we have no contact forms right here. So we can insert a new contact form if you wanted to. So we can create another one yet again. And for this, we go back to the WordPress dashboard, met form and create a new one. As you can see, of all the details, so I'm just going to put contact page and everything else is very self-explanatory. You have the confirmation, you have the notification enable this make sure it's sent to you so hello at mrwebreviews.com there you go now scroll down the page edit contents now we can create our form and here we can include everything we want so i'm just going to select one column here and let's select so we have maybe a name an email address so this would be name name here again we'll have an email address 
well, this is just email that's self-explanatory that's fine and maybe a text area for a comment so request there you go and now we need uh, to add our submit button we should not forget this time there you go submit button and this is just submit not button huh? okay just like that so let's click update very good now we go back to our wordpress dashboard okay back to the forms so this is our contact page now and now we can insert this in onto our page here okay so we go back here we have form and it's called met form isn't it and now all you have to do is just drag and drop it here let me just get it here we go now we have it here and now we can add our form so again we need to click on edit form contact form you need to click on edit again doesn't make much sense but this is the only way to insert it inside okay so update we could have created here immediately the same thing anyways you know but click update now and that's it now we have it done and then as always feel free to tweak everything around change your address here phone number email address and working hours and so on and then you have your page done so back to our wordpress dashboard now so let's go back here this is the same now let me show you how you can create your menu section so it will display properly on top so we go back to appearance menus and as you can see we have the one that we created here now we can actually add our real pages okay so we're going to select contact home and about us so these are the pages we created so add to menu and now we can delete those three okay so we're going to click on bulk select delete this one delete that one delete that one remove selected items and now we can reorganize them so i'm going to put the home page first we're going to have about a second and then contact us last so I'll click save very good so let's have a quick look at our website now let's go back to the front end and let's refresh our page so let's click refresh and normally hopefully everything going well it would look fantastic so there you go guys so let's go back to the uh, top here there you go mr web reviews home about and contact us and if you click on any of those pages it will bring you to those pages so this is the about us page we created and this is the contact page with our contact form right here so there you go guys this is how you can easily create a packers and movers website and get inquiries via email directly sent to your mailbox